it just got really bright. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, it's Alex, it's Friday, and there's so much snow outside. We got like a foot of snow on top of the like eight inches that we had from the last snowstorm, and it is ridiculous. I don't know if I'll be able to leave the house until like Sunday, maybe, if it doesn't snow again on Saturday. And I also, I also really need a haircut. It's Valentine's Day, but I'm not, we're not talking about that today. So let's get started. For round one today, I went to Tumblr and asked what you guys wanted to learn about. And I actually got a few requests, which I was surprised because that doesn't happen often, but this might be a new thing. First, um, someone asked, someone said they wanted to learn about quantum physics. I don't know exactly what that is, so I looked up an overview, and here is my synopsis. Quantum physics is the study of behavior of matter and energy at the molecular, atomic, and nuclear, and even smaller microscopic levels. It was mainly developed by Albert Einstein, Max Planck, and Niels Bohr. It deals with quantum entanglement and quantum electrodynamics, which that's basically all I'm telling you about, so I hope you learned a lot. Next. Star Torrent 2 asked, I want to know which skill you would rather have, being able to learn how to speak any language in three days or how to build anything in three days. I think I would have to go with building anything in three days. My dad uh, can build basically anything out of fence wood and I think it's an awesome skill. I would like to know how to build things. Uh, soon I'll be attempting to build a bed frame out of wood pallets and cinder blocks and I hope that it goes well and if it does then we would then learn that I actually do have that ability. Okay, that's round one. Um, round two today, we're gonna talk about the Olympics, just like a little update. I haven't um, been able to watch much of it. I don't have cable down in my apartment, uh, but I've been watching a few of the like review clip things on the internet. First off, the medal leaders are Norway with 13. Uh, USA with 13 and the Netherlands with 12. They all have four gold medals which is cool so that's exciting. I know Canada is doing awesome things too uh, at the Olympics this year. They also have done a lot of things out of the games if that makes sense. Like there was one where there's one instance where the one of the coaches for Canada came out and helped a, was it a Russian skier, like exchange his broken ski after falling so that he could finish with dignity. There were three sisters that competed in the freestyle skiing and only two of the sisters made it to the placing round. And two of them actually won medals, which is pretty awesome. And the third sister was still cheering them on and even though that she didn't get a chance. That would have been cool if they all three got medals in that event. That would be nice. My landlord's calling. Hello? Well, that was my landlord that just called and said that we had five minutes to go and move our cars so that they could plow our driveway. There's a lot of snow. It's gotta be like almost three feet. It was like up to like here like walking through where we already shoveled. Okay, I don't remember where I was, so uh, we'll just go straight into round three. I'm gonna go to Twitter again and do the trending tags. Hashtag Valentine's Day. Every octopus has three hearts. Roses are red, the canes are two. Here's a Valentine's Day hug from us to you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Adore nightclub is opening soon. Who do you adore today? Kiahu Kahu. Kiahu Kahuanui. That's Hawaiian. Darren Sharper. He's a defensive back in the NFL. Let's see what he's doing. He's charged with raping two women. Next. Be this my Valentine. Be this my Valentine. I think I would die if Beth followed me. Oh, no. It's Beth is my Valentine, not be this my Valentine. Beth, this, Beth. Beth is my valentine. Beth, guess what? I am your new dream heart. 
Let me see the light, please. Someone's having a follow spree. Next is hashtag Ask August. Lord, if you had an opportunity to give away a body part, what would it be? Uh, I don't like when people have capital letters at the beginning of every word in the sentence. It makes it seem like it's a title and it was a question, not a title. Testimony drops April 15th. Hashtag ask August, go cop that though. Anything else you cop that day is trash. Just keep it real with yourself. Team August. Next is hashtag harsher love songs. Hashtag harsher love songs. You give love a name that shall not be spoken of. Hashtag harsher love songs. More like hashtag harsher glove songs, am I right? Don't speak with a ball gag in your mouth. Killing me softly with his machete. <laughs> what? It just got really bad again. <laughs> okay, next is Patrick Chan. He's a figure skater, obviously, from the pictures. Um, he's beating in the Olympics right now. What did he do? He's a Canadian Olympics skater. And apparently he's just, he's really, really, really good. He had a silver. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. That's basically it. That's trending. Um, all right. And that's going to conclude today. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and share this with your friend. I will see you again next week. Also, check out my tie. I wore it for Valentine's Day. If you are single like me on this Valentine's Day, um, here's a tip, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get myself a bottle of wine, get a whole pizza to myself, and watch some movies and shows and become best friends with that bottle of wine and maybe even ask it to be my Valentine. Okay. It's still super right, right? Bye.